Hello dear traders, my name is Tim and these are the main trading ideas for current trading session. First of all, let's discuss the situation with USD Japanese Yen. The USD Japanese Yen pair continued to grow actively. The Japanese government uh, this week approved Casio Ueda's uh, candidacy for the next head of the regulator. He will replace uh, uh, Kuroda, whose uh, term ends in early April. It's worth nothing that Ueda's rhetoric has already disappointed market participants, uh, as the official indicated his intention to keep uh, the monetary policy soft. But experts believe that uh, the dovish rate may be revised in the future if inflation accelerates. Before Prime Minister uh, Kashida's uh, government uh, can formally appoint the chairman for a five-year term, uh, he must be approved by both houses of the national parliament. Today, the growth of the USD Japanese yen pair may continue. Next, uh, Euro USD. The European currency continues uh, to develop a steady downward rally and is uh, quoted around 1.0650. The focus of investors is the publication of data on the producer price index for January, which rose from minus 0.2% to 0.7%. The indicator repeated the dynamics of consumer prices, declining more slowly than expected uh, uh, by experts, uh, which gives the US Federal Reserve's uh, more and more arguments in favor of uh, further tightening monetary policy to higher levels. The next meeting of the American regulator will be held in March, and it is expected that the Fed will again raise the interest rate by 25 basis points to 5%. Against this background, the decline of the euro may continue. And finally, WTI. Oil is falling on Friday and developing the bearish momentum of the past days. The pressure on oil is exerted by the strengthening of the dollar, as well as the intentions of the US authorities to increase the sale of oil from national reserves. Data on oil reserves in the US also became a negative factor. In particular, according to the US Energy Information Administration, oil inventories rose by 16.2 million barrels last week, while gasoline inventories increased by 2.3 million barrels. Given the above, oil risks remaining under pressure. So these are the main trading ideas for now. Thank you for your attention. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.